This is example one in the unit three equilibrium introduction. We're going to start off with writing a balanced equation. I can see from this question that there's SO2 and O2 are being placed in a flask and allowed to come to equilibrium. At equilibrium we have SO3. That gives us our starting ground. SO2 gas plus O2 gas in equilibrium with SO3 gas. Now to start this off we really need to make sure we've got this balanced putting a 2 in front of the SO3. Now that means automatically I am going to need a 2 in front of the SO2 so that our sulfurs balance. That brings us to having a total of 6 oxygen on the reactant side, 6 oxygen on the product side. We've got our equation to work with. We're going to set up an ice table just like we did in the introduction and write down our initial conditions. Again we're fortunate here it's a one liter flask so we can see that we have one mole of sulfur dioxide and two moles of oxygen. The one mole divided by one liter gives us a 1.00 molar amount of sulfur dioxide. We've got a 2.00 molar of oxygen. Remember that comes from the moles divided by the volume of the flask. We do not have any SO3 to begin with. We're going to have some kind of change and then we know that at equilibrium we have a total of 0 0.40 molar and that's because it's 0.4 moles divided by a one liter flask so 0 0.40 molar of SO3. The in order for that to have happened, that is the amount of change that had to occur. So we went up by 0 0.40 molar of SO3. This reaction is a 2 to 1 to 2 ratio. The only way for the SO3 to have been made is for the SO2 and the oxygen to have reacted. That means both of those have to go down. Now because there's 2 sulfur dioxide to 2 sulfur trioxide, we know that this went down by 0 0.40 molar following that stoichiometric ratio. And the oxygen is going down by half that amount. So we're going to go down by 0 0.20 molar. Remember we have to have the 2 to 1 to 2 ratio. That lets us finish off our table at 0 0.60 molar and 1.80 molar.